We like to know since the last time we have you here, what has been the changes and the issue affecting or going on in Tarshalari? Yeah, thank you, sir. Uh, since last time we were here, up to now, we can describe the situation as going from bad to worst. Because at last time we were here, we were old 28 month salaries. But as of today, it has graduated to 30 months salary and 48 months salary arrears. If we sum both together, it amounts to 54 months salaries unpaid. And that is the situation for now. We have done everything humanly possible to let the Ogunte government know the predicament we are. But every effort has been rebuked. We were at the Ogunte Assembly to drive home our demand. We have gone to several places to let them speak to the governor so that this money could be paid. But up to now, nothing has been done on it. Just on the 1st of uh, May, during the Labor Day, the governor promised that 22.2 billion Naira was to be released to settle all indebtedness to workers. But up to this money, Thai Sholani Crop Education staff is yet to receive a penny from that uh, release. So that's the situation for now. So, Comrade Mba, can you tell us, aside from the salary, uh, you raised issue about promotion exercise and inconsistent remittance of pension to staff of Thai Sholani University. Can you tell us about that? Yes, of course. Regarding that, there has not been any changes at all. Because I can remember the last time we asked our provost, Dr. Adiola Kiyadeshi, and the boss had to be resuming at a doctor just for him to get these uh, salaries for us. Nothing. It has been, as my comrade said, from worse to bad. Promotion has not been given up to date. We had our last promotion 2016, 2017. The approval has been given to the provost, but it's yet to release the reason best known to him. And the worst that he did to us was on the 29th that he asked soldiers to invade our campus, harassing us, shooting into the air. They, they shot 29 bull, 9, 11 bullets into the air just to scare us because they wanted to force himself in. They said that he has not been able to bring anything for us out of all our demand. Our cooperative deductions for seven months was held. Those that did not have cooperative, that, that did not do any cooperative, they had their money, but those of us that were uh, corporate, um, members of the cooperative, we are able to, we are unable to collect our money. It was just on paper. It was deducted, deducted on paper. Up to now, we do not have anything regarding that promotion, nothing to write home about. The provost has re refused to give us our letters of promotion the reason why he has held it onto him, the reason is best known to him. We did, we did not know what we are actually doing because we asked him to go to a doctor and collect our money, and up to now, he has not done anything. So, uh, this allegation against the provost of the College okay. of Education, have you ever met in a discussion with him to resolve this? Severally, yes, we did. We had a meeting, in fact, he actually called us February. Yes, I couldn't remember the actual day, but it was February. We had a meeting together at Grand Hill, Ijebodi. So we told him, sir, we asked you to go to Abelkuta and get all these things. How far have you gone? He has nothing to show. Even he was the one asking us that, uh, what are those our requests? Can you imagine? And when you say go to Abekuta, can you tell us what you mean? By yes. Yeah. Okay, let, let me <coughs> shed more light on that. Okay. Uh, December 28th, last year, the Congress met and agreed that the provost and the college bosser should relocate their offices to that of the governor's office at uh, Abekuta. So that when the governor sees them every now and then, he will know that he is owing us and they can get the money for us. But since then, up to now, 
we are not sure that he has met governors once or twice. So he's just enjoying her hand, putting it with her money. And like she said, by February, he called us to a meeting for us to discuss. And there and then we confronted with the fact and figure of our problems. Concerning 28 months salary dead, which is not 30 months, what have we been able to do? He has no answer to it. Concerning our promotion, what is the situation? He said, well, the state government has approved the promotion of 2015, 2016, 2016, 2017 academic sessions. We had letter to that effect. He, he was using it as a bait that until we allow him to the campus, he will not release all those uh, promotion letters. And we are saying nobody is banning you from coming to campus. What we are saying is that when you are coming to campus, come with substantial part of this 28 months that is being owed and 48 months salary arrest. And doesn't have any answer to that. So he is using the promotion letters as a bait for, for him to come in and continue. And we said you cannot come in for now because except apart from what government is bringing as subvention, we have entirely generated revenue, IGR. What are we able to do with that IGR? As of today, in the last two and a half years that he has assumed office as the post of the college, Dr. Lukman Adirakadeshe has generated close to 400 million as IGR. And we asked, what have we been able to do with that 400 million? He said, well, he did accreditation, he did the degree affiliation. How much are those programs cost? What are you, have you spent on that? And what are the remaining money? What, what have you spent it for? He could not answer. And we call under Congress where we agreed that this man is a government appointee, he's not part, for, part of us, he's not our staff, and he came to Mumposley for a hidden agenda. If that's the case, the entire staff has rejected you, and we are saying Kiyadishi must go. So it was because we asked him, we don't want him again. That was why on the 29th, 29th of, of April, April, he invaded the camp with we trucks of soldiers. They stripped many of us, uh, staff naked. They beat many of us blue and white. They begin to shoot sporadically on campus just for him to come in and continue to uh, continue to say half of which we have said enough of that. We don't want him again, and he should leave. We want a clear-headed profile. We want a qualified and a certified profile. He is not qualified by issue. I can make it clearly with our enabling law. Doctor Adiola like is not qualified to be our profile. But we just gloat over it when it came just because we want our salary to be paid. And now that we know that he's not ready to even support us, he has pitched his debt with the government just to continue suppressing us for us not to get our money. I say, yeah, enough is enough. We don't want you again. Let the government give us a substantive and a qualified purpose to continue paralleling the affairs of the college. Can you tell us uh, briefly what is the our staff of uh, Daesh Lari, how have they been faring since they've not been paid for over 54 months now? How have they been living? I can tell uh, you <laughs> it is a pathetic story. It is a gory scene. As of today, we have lost 49 staffers of Daesh Lari College of Education to the cold heart of death. None of them is up to 60. We have 42, 53, 47, and, and even, uh, people in their 30s, many of them died because they cannot afford 5,000 to attend to themselves in hospitals. All of us that are there staff now, we are all moving corpses. Nobody knows who will drop there tomorrow because we cannot afford the basic things of life. Many of us are now living in churches and mosques. There are houses that have been destabilized. Wives are packed out of the house because the husband cannot be able to do it. Many of us are withdrawing our children from private school to public school. Many of us are taking our children to our uh, parents. Instead of them uh, taking something from us, we are the ones that are going to them to go and beg for something. It's as worse as that. There are many of us who have started uh, projects. They have to stop it. Many of them have to sell their landed property. As of today, we cannot be both of 15 staff that is having cars in tertiary and education. Those that are, are having two three cars before I have to sell them off so for them to, to be able to, to eat. Many of us who have started our higher degree program we have to stop because we don't have the means to pursue it. So it has become a, a very bad and worse situation. Taske staff are now beggars. We don't even, we, we don't want a street uh, beggar again. 
because people we don't we don't have where to go again we don't have any hope for for, for, for the next thing to happen to us so it has become so pathetic and so situation we die like poultry chicken every now and then and that is why we are appealing to the government to please look into Taske. let us know what exactly is the problem in Taske, and why has government refused to do what it is needful. i mean what we have to do the needful as far as Taske issue is concerned so has this not been affecting the students in any way because lectures seem to be going on smoothly no it has not affected the students up till I'll say up till February. We concluded lectures with them. It was only remaining examination to be done. And because of this, the provost, because it's it is in the absence of the provost, the deputy provost act, it takes over the affairs of the college. So because the provost wants to use it as an exam uh, as an excuse. He withdrew the service of the deputy provost. He asked him to stop from coming to the college so that the activities of the college could be granted. So because the, pro the deputy provost is no more coming to school, there is nobody to paddle the affairs of the college. So the students, they said that they have finished the lecture with them. They could not do examination. Based on the action of the provost. Yes. yes. Now, before you move to your demand, you mentioned uh, that the August state government said some money. Yes. Have been released to be paid to yes. workers in the state. Yes. yes. So, are you saying the government has not paid the money, or the provost is holding the money? Uh, on first of May, May. the governor, Central Vikula Mosu, announced that 22.2 billion had been released to cater for deduction, all salaries, and other emoluments. Uh, we heard that uh, some money was released to primary school teachers, to secondary school teachers, and to ministry workers. But people have been calling us in Taske from far and near. Ah, congratulations. We heard that the governor had so, so, so. We thought something is coming too. And when we make inquiry, we get to know that we are not captured in that 22.2 billion naira. This is the same governor that told the whole world that Ogunse is not owing anybody. anybody. Ogunse is not owing any staff. And now you have been able to release 22.2 billion. You truly has released it. Who owes that? And we are saying you are owing us 54 months. Pay us our own entitlement. Up to now, we have not released any cover, and we have been told categorically that we are not captured in that 22.2 billion released by the state government. Uh, going back to the affairs of the school now, the students pay tuition fee yes. regularly. Yes. So uh, has the provost been accounting for this fee? That is what we mean by the high GR. That is the internally generated revenue. Even when we met the student union, we, we told them, we said, it is your right to ask the, the provost, what has he been using the money you are paying for? That money is supposed to be used to augment whatever money that has been brought from my Belkuta as a subvention. That is what some other institutions in the state do. That's what they do. That's what they do, rather. What our provost have been using our own IGR for, we don't know. And we have been asking him questions. What have you been using this IGR for? He could not account for it. And that is where the problem started. With him, with the provost. We want to know all the money you have generated so far. What have you used it for? He was saying he did accreditation. You did that. How much have you used for accreditation? Mm. What is our will be? We want to know how our will be. It was just giving us so many excuses. Flimsy ones. So the students, we told them, you are the student representative. Ask him. He's the one that is holding you. He's the one that is delaying you here. Ask him to release the deputy provost. Ask him the money you have, you have been paying. Why? He did not use it to augment staff salaries. That is the money that students are being paid for. That is why, what we are asking him to come and account for. On a final note now, what are your demands and your pleas to the Ogun State Government? Yes, our demands is that our 30 month salaries and 48 months arrears that accumulated to 54 month salary 
should be paid without delay. Also, we want our promotion to be effected up to date. Okay. Another thing is that we want government. a governing council to be consulted for us. At the same time, we want a regional panel to be set up to come and look to the affairs of that institution right from October 2008 yes. up till date. We want that panel to come and unravel shady deeds that have been going on on that campus. We want them to come and ascertain what are our IGR. We want them to come and know what exactly is our wage bill. We want them to come and confirm how many staff are we having there. Do we have good staff? Our management inflating our salary and other things. We want the government to come and do that for us. At the same time, we want massive infrastructure development of that uh, campus. The campus is, is not as good as expected. So we want government to embark on massive fragile development. I really want to appeal to the incoming governor, Dr. Prince, Prince Dakwabiodun, to please look into the situation of that campus and take drastic step on it. One of it is that the entire staff has rejected Dr. Diolaki Adishi as our provost. And as a matter of urgency, we request and demand that he appoint an acting provost for us, set up a governing, governing council, council, and let the governing council embark on normal processes of appointing, appointing. a new provost for us. A also, management. all our competitive deductions should be remitted to our account. Our pension should be paid. It will tell you to know that in the last eight years of this administration, no, nothing has been paid to us as pension. From the government. We involve in contributory pension scheme where a certain percentage of our salary will be deducted and that of government will be added. Government has not added a penny in the last eight years administration of Hamosu. So we want all this money to be paid into our retirement savings account so that we can be rest assured that anytime we retire, we have something to fall on. So those are our demands for now. Thank you very much, sir. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Comrade Demba. It's a pleasure.